Libra, hi, Adrian here. You're a psychic tarot reader with a general message for you for 1 till 18 June. All right. You know what I really like? You know what I really, really like? Is, you know, when I start to prepare for your reading, I pick up a lot of messages and all this stuff. I get nothing for you. It's like a clean slate. So, I don't know. It's almost like you are starting new, like you are starting over. Because even though I get nothing, it's not a negative thing. It's a very calm thing. It's like, you know that sense where you sometimes get, where you stand outside and you just watch the sunrise or the sunset or the moon or the sky at night or like whatever, you know, like you watch your baby sleep or, you know, maybe have like a fish tank and you watch the fish or whatever, something very beautiful. It's that serene feeling that I get for you, which I like, you know, it's like a breath of fresh air. So let's look at your recent past. Okay, the energies are flying, yeah. So, <coughs> I got the Nine of Pentacles first and then the Hierophant, but they said I have to read the Hierophant first. I'm just letting you know. Um, so the Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Past-based energy for you. New starts, Libra. Um, new beginnings. The challenges of new beginnings. Um, I feel that some of you, you sort of started to focus in life in your own direction in um, maybe you've lived a lot for other people and sort of like neglected yourself but I feel that for a lot of you you're on that path now where life is more about you which is great you know some of you may have started to really reinvest in your dreams again you know be that study be that money be that whatever it is uh, some of you I see, I see specifically some of you have almost like looked at a space that'll probably be like a shop. Um, I see a big sort of glass, like could be like a display glass, um, and, and sort of like got a like a steel frame, but then there's also like a little bit of like a like wood on the side. So maybe that's for you. You know, maybe let me know how that resonates, let me know in the comments. But that's for someone over there. And if that's for you, then you know there's a message here for you. But um there is some brave steps that have been taken here to go going forward doing your own thing. Some of you have got into a new relationship or you got into the space where you feel ready to go into a new relationship, where you were finally healed from that past things. I feel that for many of you, you actually sort of needed to kind of just be on your own, do your own thing, tend to your own energy there for a while. And now you are ready to sort of like share yourself and your space with someone else again. Okay. Alright, these are too many cards. Let's just see what are the cards that came out here for your current space. Three cards. There's a fourth one that wants to come out. Let's see who it is. So there's a two of cups, which is about things coming together. And then in your current space, we've got the star, we've got the four of swords, and we've got the strength energy. So the star, Aquarius energy, the strength card, Leo energy. Um, very interesting. Things coming together, contracts coming together, love coming together. So this is a good space for you, I feel. Obviously, use your own discernment, but this is a space where I feel it's a good space to to step into new things, to agree to new things, to sign contracts, to go into partnerships, to, you know, to talk out the details. Obviously, you want to always talk out the details. But um, I feel that, you know, especially for those of you that were concerned, maybe in the past you tried your own thing and it didn't work out, you're a different person now. You're not that person anymore. You've grown and certain mistakes that you've made in the past by maybe just not knowing, um, those things won't even remotely happen for you anymore. They just won't, all right? Because you're a different person and you're going to that next level in strength, in confidence, in opportunities, in life. You literally go into that next level, okay? Um, literally as in literally. Um, and, and let's claim that for ourselves. So place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath for yourself and claim that for yourself. Literally going to the next level of success, of abundance, of flow, of happiness, of joy, of love. Yeah, some of you have taken on a lot of um, sort of maybe energies from others. You know, through your life, hurt, pain, fear, healing from that now, okay? So, if you feel that, or I feel that some of you are aware of the fact that, you know, past interactions, past relationships, past connections, had a very strong 
and a very negative impact on your life because it was very limiting. I see that you've come out of that and you're still healing, you're shedding that last bit of it. Okay. So you're ready to move forward now. That's beautiful. So nice. Let's see what is the energy heading forward for you. Two of Stars, which is the Two of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Lots and lots of twos. All right. Now, the other thing in tarot, when you read tarot, you look for patterns. So you look for what you have, but you also look for what you don't have. So we've got the Two of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. So we don't have the Two of Swords, which is great because the Two of Swords is usually about feeling kind of lost, you know. Um, not always seeing the solution that's often right in front of you. So this is all really, really good. This is the positive side of things. Um, the positive side of opportunities. You know, this it's, it's pointless having opportunities in life when you don't see them, when you don't feel ready, or you don't feel confident, um, you know, to go for them. But this is a space of having become ready, creating the opportunity, doing it for yourself to your own energy, aligning yourself with it, basically, and seeing them, knowing what needs to be done, doing what needs to be done, and gaining success from that. Love that. Opportunities to expand for you going forward. Let's clarify, since you are the only reading with the, with the overall energy, the two of cups, let's start over there. Let's see about that. Because that's about things coming together. Love. I feel for many of you, um, you are finally over the person from the past. I don't necessarily see rekindling over here. <clears throat> I see healing, but not necessarily rekindling. So maybe with a new person. The strength energy is over there. Leo energy. Uh, so strength energy, just want to show you, you've got strength in your overall energy as well as strength in your current space. So strength is very predominant there, very strong. Hermit energy, a Virgo energy, Ace of Cups, new love, new opportunity, soul stepping in. This is beautiful. Blessings, um, abundance, flow. Just a, a flow of abundance. Wow. Like a prosperous flow of abundance. I love that so much. It's cool. So, let's look at that recent past energy. And you know, if you like that, claim that for yourself. Place your hand on your heart nicely, break claims for yourself. Oh, ho, 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 Whoa! Before I show you this, I gotta fan myself because goodness knows. Oh la la! Oh! You got the hero from twice there in the recent past. New changes, breaking away from the chains and the cages and the limitations and the negative self talk and the self abuse and the um, self sabotage. Yeah! So, clarifying there the recent past. They got the Ten of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Page of Swords. Releasing the past, letting go of the things holding you back, letting go of the past connections. You know, some of you may have been very um, um, prone to maybe like substance abuse and things like that. You know, getting in, in, in the wrong circles and things like that. Heal from it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you heal from it because it's, it's like, you know, when we begin to understand who we really are. You just don't stand for certain shit anymore. You just don't. You know? Oh la la. Um, <clears throat> in your current space, are we clarifying the star, the four of swords, and the strength energy? Ah! This is just so deja vu. So you've got the two of cups there that you had in your overall energy, you also have in your current space. <coughs> two of cups, chariot, which is cancer energy. Two of Swords. So there's the Two of Swords coming in. All right. Moving forward. Some of you are asking, is this the time to move forward? Is this the time to take a risk? Is this the time to open my heart? Is this the time to be open to the idea of moving in with them? Or they moving in with me? Or just being open to the idea of making such a connection with someone else? Yes! It is time. The time is now. All right. As we say in South African slang, manje. The time is now manje. All right. The time is now. I want to draw. I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to draw another card for that hero friend that came out twice. I want to know what that is about. 
So you got the six of pentacles and six is the number of love in tarot. And you turn six around, becomes more, it becomes nine. So there's opportunity for real growth here, real growth. And for those of you that are concerned about your time, your confidence, your, your um, security, your comfort, money, the things that money can buy, your time, just all of those things, you know, those, those personal tangible needs, if you want to call it that, materialistic needs. There's great opportunity for those to, to really work out for you. Even with that scale there in the background, it always makes me think of justice energy. It's like the materialistic side of things of life is, it's flowing in your favor, all right? Let's look for that strength energy we're gonna take from the bottom of the deck, nine of wands, because you are healing. Some of you, there's one or two things that needed to be healed and you just never got around to healing. Maybe spoke around it, tiptoe around it, made excuses around it, no more, okay? And what was the other one that came up? Our oh, two of cups. Somewhere from the middle of the deck, I'm going to take a star energy, Aquarius energy. Everything working, shifting in your favor. Beautiful stuff. This is the things that you want to claim. Even at the bottom of the deck there, you've got the Ace of Swords. There is a space of things working out in your favor. You just got to open yourself to it. Oh, this is like, wow. So clarifying the energy that's getting your way, two of pentacles, page of cups, and two of wands. Um, six of pentacles is making another turn, showing up again. Justice energy is there. Libra energy, your energy, coming into your energy and temperance. You're coming into your shine, you're coming into your moment. Things are evening out for you, you know. You're going forward and there's lots and lots of lessons that you are learning going forward. But it's beautiful, it's pleasurable it's um again i don't know if some of you are opening a bakery or anything like that if you are i love cake um but I, again i see like a new skill a new art like maybe learning how to make those really funky cakes and stuff like that you know um very very beautiful let me know in the comments let's see what the universe has got for you if it resonates with you i really appreciate you liking the video i really appreciate you subscribing and leaving those Notification about beautiful Libras because it helps my channel to grow. For those of you dealing with a Libra, you're just so damn lucky. Right. So, Eight of Inspiration, which is the Eight of Wands, it wanted to go a little bit in reverse, but then it flipped in the right position. Seven of Voices, which is the Seven of Swords and the Empress. So, I can see that for many of you, this is a very brave period. Um, for many of you, you've been holding on to your past patterns, and it's almost like discomfort became comfortable for you. You, you sort of um, you know, motivated for it, basically. Um, but things are changing and they're changing powerfully. You are getting to see really how beautiful you actually are because it's like some of you forgot. All right. So that's what I got for you, Libra. I hope that that helps. Beautiful stuff happening for you. So rooting for your success. Um, if any of you are interested in a personal reading, I want to let you know I'm only going to do them for about three weeks still. So if you want one done, you need to book it soon as opposed to later. Um, very tight schedule that I have at the moment um, and the details to book is down below in the description if any of you want to learn how to read the tarot for yourself there is a link for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course in the description there's also a link for my free oracle card reading course from my heart namaste love and life